I'm always thinking about the essence of who we are as Osage people, even though I know I, I do it in a contemporary way. So sometimes that might be hard for people to see, but that's what motivates me. It, it, you know, because this is all part of that. It's, it's what informs me and inspires me, you know, when I go to make my work. Then we can hey. see, then we can see out of them. <laughs> essence of who we are as Osage people, who we are in our being, I find this all wrapped up in clothing and these representations. My home is in Stillwater, Oklahoma, but I'm currently living in Tulsa. I've been here for the last five years as a fellow with the Tulsa Artist Fellowship. Ribbon work has a prominent role within our culture. We started acquiring ribbons through trade with the French and then took that process and the techniques and started making things uniquely Osage. I went to school at the Institute of American Indian Arts. It was probably, you know, for the first time for many of us to be around young native people talented, you know, in the arts. They encouraged us to dwell into our culture, you know, look to our culture, look to our background. This is a Osage woman's blanket from my grandmother's uh, collection. The items that she had in her trunk were her most treasured possessions and have become my most treasured possessions. Some people, you know, refer to these as, as fingers. But I particularly love this. It's, it's like graph paper fabric. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's really cool. One of the tenets in, in Osage philosophies and worldview is how time evolves. Our worldview takes into account eons of time, observing nature, how nature has order, how everything is connected. I'm, I'm interested in those thoughts and ideas and how they influence us today as contemporary Osage people. I find that really fascinating. These are handmade stamps created with my Osage ribbon work patterns. And uh, you can see the sawtooth design over here. You can see a segment of the double arrow over here. You can see where I utilize the stamps and some of the impressions that I made here on here for this clay piece. It holds the memory of the people and the cultures who were there. Oklahoma is not our original homeland. Great sacrifice has been made for us to exist today. And I've always felt like, um, I feel like that's a responsibility that you carry, you know, to, to, to the ancestors. We have survived.
Christine Noyer made that suit for your dad. This one's for my dad? Yeah, this one and this one. These things are handed down and treasured, you know, because they, they understand the meaning behind them and understand how important they were to the family member who wore them. These designs and patterns have been with us for such a long time that they define us. They define our relationships. And so that's why they're important. And that thread that ties you to the past. It even took a while for me to kind of um, evolve into this place that I am now. You know, that, that I don't know any other way to describe it, but I always think it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful what we have.